Hello all. Okay, so today I'm going to go through, oh, there you go. Today I'm going to go through how to clean up your HubSpot. So let's make myself small again. Like that. Cool. So uh, HubSpot has a really cool feature, uh, this data quality feature. Now I'm pretty sure, almost certain, this is a operations pro or slash enterprise level feature. So if you don't have this feature, here's what I recommend doing. Go on the trial for 14 days, get the trial, and then you'll have access to this feature. You can play around with it, and hopefully maybe you can get your cleanup done in time um, before the trial's finished. That's just a sneaky tip. So um, how do you get to this page? If you hover over here and click data quality, it'll show your data quality. So in this page, you'll see, it'll give you a really cool breakdown of, you know, if you're like me, and in our HubSpot, we do a lot of things. We're very creative and we make a big mess. So every now and again, you need to do a cleanup and you can see uh, it'll give you things like properties, the unused properties, the duplicate properties, your records. So records with formatting issues or duplicate issues, uh, data sync issues and workflows. What do I recommend doing? How do you start this cleanup? Well, the first thing I actually recommend doing is going into your unused workflows and your workflows that need reviews. Why? Because you'll notice, right? The thing that I wanted to do in the beginning, I was thinking, you know what? The biggest thing for cleanup is all those, you know, properties that we've, uh, custom properties that we've made and then the sales team doesn't know is this, this property or that property or do we use property A or property B? So, uh, so I thought, you know what, let's just go ahead and clean up properties. What's the issue though? The best way to clean up properties would be to, one second, sorry, it's just while it loads, would be to archive them. So when you archive a property, uh, that way you, you're not really risking anything. It archives for 90 days. You can archive the property. Uh, let's choose all the properties that have no data and if I wanted to archive a property, it will allow me to do so unless, unless there's a workflow attached to it. So as you can see here, it won't allow me to do so because there's a workflow or rule or it's dependent upon something. So it won't allow me to archive. So what do I first need to do is clean up the workflows. After that, you should be a bit more clear to go ahead and be able to archive your properties. After you've archived the properties, the unused properties, uh, what's nice about archiving them is you haven't deleted them, which means that you have 90 days. So if you've made a mistake and someone actually needs that property, you can go ahead and unarchive it. Uh, the other nice thing about archiving is it won't let you archive property that is being used in some workflow, some rule, or some form, right? That's probably another good place to start as well. HubSpot forms. So I'd start with workflows, forms, and then go ahead and start archiving those properties. All of this can be done within the data uh, data quality uh, insights view. That's about it, guys. I hope this was useful for you. If you want a more in-depth review on uh, this whole process, please let me know.